We continue creating our checklist project in Laravel and today we'll have some kind of a cleanup. So I received a few comments related to these dog blocks in controllers, that they duplicate the same thing that is in the type hint of the function. And we could use type hints and also return types of a function to make the dog block disappear at all because we don't really need that if we have that inside of the function description. Here's one of the comments that I've received from Wojciech and he's saying that PHP doc here doesn't have any purpose, it's a redundant clutter. And I did that mostly because I was led by the generated controller from the official Laravel and then PHP doc underlined that. So this is the part of the video that was generated by Laravel with PHP artisan make controller and this is my parameters with route model binding and then I fixed those underlines by doing something like this. I will demonstrate you. Like this. So I just used PHP storm function to update the comment. That's it. But I agree with Wojtek and a few more people who commented the same thing that we could eliminate the dog block altogether and make the controller shorter. So in this video, I will do three parts. First part, we will clean up that task controller to eliminate dog blocks altogether. Second, we will edit how make controller command works in Laravel so it wouldn't generate dog blocks automatically. And third, we will make a step even further to generate some kind of a typical CRUD for any other controllers. And we will generate one controller at the end of this video, specifically for managing pages, page controller, with the new logic of dog blocks, of not having dog blocks, in fact. So let's begin by cleaning up task controller. So our goal is to replace the dog block with PHP syntax. And we can remove that altogether. First, those comments by PHP Artisan Make Controller Resource, those are not that useful, especially if you have done like hundreds of projects or hundreds of CRUDs. You know that the function store means store. So even those text comments, as I thought, they are quite useless. So let's delete those. And also parameters are already here. We don't need to do anything about them. The main question is return. What do we return? We should return illuminate HTTP response like this. Something like this and then we remove that dog block and that would work. Or in fact, we should do it like this, I think. Yep. So that's one way of doing that. Or we can move that to use section on the top and then leave only response here. But what is inside of our store function? What does it actually return? It's not just response. If we go to route and click that in the vendor folder of Laravel, what does it return? It's redirect response. So we copy redirect response. Then instead of that one, we do redirect response. And PHP Storm suggests that and we auto complete so that redirect response appears here on top. And now we have clear function of store without any dog block. And that's exactly what we needed. So one by one, let's clean up other functions. Show the form. Exactly same thing. So show the form and edit. It's pretty much useless to be honest. So same illuminate HTTP response. But in this case, we don't have a redirect response. So this is okay, but we don't have the function return. Redirect route returns redirect response. And what about view? What does it return? If we click that again, that helper, it returns either view or factory. In our case, it's just the view. So we do the view, illuminate contracts view. Actually, let's put it on top. And then in the edit, we just add view here. That's it. So we've cleaned up the edit and now see two methods already fit on the screen. And of course my size is like 22 or 24. So in real size, I will actually minimize that later after some more cleanup. So look how much fits on the screen by default and look how much will fit after our changes. And same here, update. Update the specific resource and function is update. Pretty useless comment. So we delete all of that. And response is what? Redirect route. Okay, so we have redirect response again. Redirect response. Again, PHP Storm helps us with autocomplete. Remove from storage destroy. Same thing. Parameters are already here. And the result is also redirect response. So we don't have any dog blocks in that controller anymore. And if we change the settings to have font not 24 as I'm currently having, but to 14, for example, look how much fits on the screen. Almost all the controller can be fit on the same screen. If we have dog blocks, we have like at least 15 or 20 lines of code, which are 
kind of useless. I agree with the commenters who pointed it out on YouTube. I will also quickly clean up other two controllers, checklist group and checklist, which we've created before. I actually have searched for a tool to make that replacement automatically, but I haven't found it. If you know any tool, just shoot in the comments and let us all know, but I will do that manually behind the scenes. So this is how it looks before the change, and I will just jump to the actual result. So I've manually cleaned up the checklist group controller and it's only 43 lines of code now and same with checklist controller without any dog blocks everything is type hinted everything has return type and also 44 lines of code so in these simple cases of crud of typical crud in laravel those dog blocks actually don't bring that much value so now let's take a step further and get back to the root of the problem so make controller command generate those dog blocks how to eliminate them from there for the future controllers to be generated in a better way. To edit the contents of things that are generated by Laravel framework with artisan commands, from Laravel 7 we have artisan command of PHP artisan stub publish. Then we will have a folder automatically generated in our project called stubs. And here there are stubs or templates for everything that is generated. For example, controllers, migrations, models, policies, and all of that. And we are particularly interested in the controller with model. So for example, controller plane is this example, this template with variables, and we will get to those variables in a minute. Then controller with resource is something like this. So that's basically everything that we use so far with the dog blocks, right? With the dog blocks. But what we're interested in is controller.model.stub because it uses route model binding with show model and model variable. So this is the one we will replace and then try to generate the controller, the new page controller, which we actually already have because it's generated from the first series from what I remember but it's empty just for success. It was just for the test. So we will regenerate that without those dog blocks. Let's close it for now. And let's edit the contents of that controller model stub. What we need to change. We need to remove this and change that to view. And that view should come from the use statement. Let's copy that from the checklist controller. So use contracts view like this. Then create is also a view typically so same view next store store result is usually redirect response redirect back or redirect to some other route and redirect response also should be in the use so here copy and paste then show is view this one is type hinted already so we don't need dog block for that Edit is almost identical to the show. It's also a view, edit form. Update, we don't need those and we return redirect response. And also we return redirect response in the destroy at the bottom here and remove the dog block. So this is our stub, our template for the resource controller now. And let's try to regenerate the page controller with PHP artisan make controller page or actually admin page controller dash dash force so it would be regenerated and also dash dash model equals page so we are assigning the model to do route model binding with and look what happens now did you know that Laravel can generate the model if it doesn't exist if you do make a controller command type yes model created successfully controller created successfully let's look at the contents model page should be a typical model so nothing really fancy here controller page controller follows exactly the rules that we passed redirect response view so php storm doesn't really underline anything everything is type hinted and with return types but I'm not exactly correct by saying that PHP Storm doesn't underline anything. You see the underlining at the end of every function, every method. Let's see what it says. Missing return statement. So by providing the return type, we actually make the PHP Storm expect some return with the view. So why don't we try to generate a typical result for the controller model? What should we return? In the index, it's usually return view. 
something.index. So we have a subfolder of that class or file name. So we need to have variables here. And here's where we get to variables. So see what variables are here. Class, so class name, namespace model, namespace, root namespace. That's not what we care about. What we do care about is the model and model variable. So model is, let's take a look at the result. So model is this one, so uppercase and model variable is dollar and lowercase variable. Well, dollar is part of the template. So we can use the same model variable to create the folder. I was trying to find how to make it plural, but by default Laravel doesn't have any variable to have model variable in plural. So we will have return view task.index or page.index, not pages.index. Then in the create, same thing model variable but just create of course in the real project you should have list of the tasks of the pages here passing here but for now let's just return something in the store we return redirect so usually it's return redirect route redirect to route of model variable index or let's actually try to do s at the end in all cases it's not necessarily correct grammatically. Some plural forms will be different than just S at the end, but let's stick to that. So we create, actually, let's do the full thing. So model variable with S equals model all like this. And then we pass that to the index, compact model variable S like this and let's actually try it out for now without all the functions we are regenerating the same admin page controller force it is regenerated and let's see the page controller contents okay so we have page all and compact nothing is underlined anymore here we have create and here we have redirect response to pages index great and let's finish it off with other features so create is good for store we could potentially do something like model create, but then it depends on your request. So I'm not really sure we need to customize that for any other controllers in the future. In the create, we return the view. In the show, sorry, we return the view show with compact model variable like this. In the edit, it's almost the same. We return the edit with compact. In the update, we do the update and redirect to the route. It's the same contents in the update. We redirect to the index usually, and in destroy, we do the same. And let's try to regenerate the controller for the last time. And let's see if PHP Storm doesn't underline anything. So index, good, create, good, store, good, show, edit, update, and destroy. You can go even further and customize the stubs to actually do something like page update or something but then it depends on your exact situation so i didn't want to do too much in this video in the next video of the series i will create the page controller as it should be so we'll clean it up and use only what we need so we will manage pages from the admin and new registered users will be redirected automatically to a welcome page so see you in the next video of the series and if you want to support my mission of daily videos including the checklister series Check out the three products that you can see on the screen now, our quick admin panel generator, my courses, or LiveWire kit set of components. And see you guys in other videos.